Welcome to Mark's Photography Tips brought to you by SanDisk. What are some good tips for lighting? If you're outside, be aware of the light. Be aware where the sun is. Is the sun very high? If the sun's very high, you have these shadows under your eyes, under your nose. It's not very flattering. But as that sun comes down, around like five, six, seven o'clock, you get this beautiful light. The light's right in your face. And it's, it takes out all the shadows, all the age out of your face. Make that light as, as even as possible on your face, on your subject's face as you're shooting. So that, whole, that old rule of having the sun at your back really works. Same thing in the studio. Having that light imitate the sun, where it's down at this angle, where it's coming right at you. I know a lot of people have the, the light off to the side a lot and casting you know, shadows and that's not always flattering. Make that light look like the sun at the end of the day. Follow that law and you'll do well all the time. Lighting is the foundation of everything. Photographic, in, in my personal opinion. That's what you have to start with, is learning how to see the world and see what light does. You see, shadows and light, they are what create and give an image its definition, its dimensionality. So the first thing I do when I walk into a room is I take my hand like this and I start looking at the shadow areas on my hand as I walk around the room and see, is there a highlight on my hand somewhere? Okay, well I can see that there's a little kicker light coming across my hand on this side from the windows over there and then the main light is coming from this direction over here. So it helps me to see where I want to place my subject in relation to the light source. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our blog where we'll give you updates and tips. Also, I'd like to thank Sandus for sponsoring our show. This is Mark Silber reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.